Forming Murray is tens of thousands of people in an urban center way north of Edmonton. So you have a ton of people in a remote location and so it's an incredibly unique community. It honestly is some of the cleanest air and the nicest night skies up here. I mean, it's beautiful. Like uh, anywhere there isn't houses, there's just trees. There's just trees everywhere. So it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I was surprised with like how beautiful it is. I didn't know how many trees were up here. Today's been a lot of fun so far, like there really is no pressure. We got to practice some IV starts and like people who've never, who won't really practice that in their jobs, like, but they got to do it, which is really exciting for them. And it's exciting for us to kind of like show them what we know too. Yeah, it's so cool. Like we always talk about interdisciplinary collaboration, but it's really cool seeing firsthand and like getting to know what the other professions scope of practice is and like how our roles overlap. And and it's nice that they split us up too, so none of the other ultrasound students are in my group. So I have um, a bunch of med students in my group, and an EMT student, I believe, and some nursing students. So talking to them about why they're in what they were in is great, and kind of their experience. So when we were doing the trauma case, the EMT student is really into it. It's, it's so awesome to see the passion from their side as to why they're doing what they're doing as well. Everyone was extremely friendly, which I really liked. Um, and I also had this nurse go up to some word that she wasn't really working at and she knew the patient and I thought that was really something that's special about Fort McMurray's hospital. Our numbers before 216, before the fire, we had for around 14,000 francophone on our list that we, we service in, in Fort McMurray. One of the services that we offer at the Multicultural Association is translation services and interpretation. And there's tons of requests for people saying, you know, like I just want someone that I can talk to directly, um, talk about my health issues. I don't want to talk through someone. I want to talk with my doctor or with my nurse so they can actually understand what they're going through. So it's really important having people that are culturally sensitive, um, maybe from the same religion or from the same culture so they can understand um, the, the nuances behind it all. The more you are stressed, the less capable you are at explaining yourself in a second language. I mean, you can be sick and see the doctor it does not mean the communication is well understanding because of the language barrier. There is opportunity here when you graduate. Unbelievable um, number of opportunities for both myself and my spouse and for anybody who comes up here what they'll find is when you put so many people in one spot and you make them remote all those people need all the same services and anybody who comes up here can fill those services so it's opportunity never-ending.